Hey guys, what's going on? It's Johnny Yu again. Before I start, I want to briefly talk about these three guys. Chong jun who used to be a singer-songwriter, radio DJ, and an actor. This guy got accused of raping a drunk woman as a group and distributing illegally filmed videos. It's also known as the famous Burning Sun incident. He recently got sentenced for 5 years in prison and his friend Choi jung who was a member of the FD Island Idol group, had the same charge as Chong jun But he was only sentenced for 2 years and 6 months in prison because he made a settlement with the victim. Goyeong a singer who was a member of the group called Lula back in 1990. Goyeong is the first celebrity with the ankle monitor with the charge of 2 cases of underage sexual assault. He was sentenced for 2 years and 6 months in prison and recently he finished this sentence on this year 2020. The reason why these people are being an issue is because recently in Korea from Instagram, if the account is reported as an ex-convict of sexual crime, those accounts becomes now disabled without the account holder's permission. Meaning that if you're a Korean celebrity and commits a sexual crime in Korea, your Instagram account will be banned for a certain period of time or maybe forever. I think this is actually helpful in order to prevent another crime from certain types of people. I really didn't take this seriously until I heard about my friend's close friend. Apparently this fan, she's a fan of one of these three people. And she doesn't really care much about what they did. And she still likes him, it's like she pretends nothing has happened. Which is not my problem and it's her decision. But then I was thinking, if she ever get unlucky enough to meet them in person, no one knows what's gonna happen. And I'm pretty sure we're both thinking something negative, aren't we? This guy recently finished his sentence from prison and he said something through the media. Now I wanna carefully communicate with the world. Just because he finished his sentence doesn't mean that we forget what he did. And I was thinking, does he wanna communicate with his fans or some random people? I don't know, would he still have any fans after touching two underage girls? These guys as a celebrity, their career has pretty much ended. I mean, Korean network is the most dangerous zone and people know that. And I'm pretty sure Korean broadcast companies won't even allow them. And there's not many places for them to go. And now I want to ask you guys, do you think a person who has convicted a sexual crime towards female or minors, do they deserve a second chance as a celebrity? Meaning that some victims may be able to see them in person through any types of media in the future. Or do you think these people deserve to be stuck in their house regretting what they did and should never step a foot on their past career for the rest of their life. After serving a sentence for a few years with the ankle monitor, do you think this is a reasonable punishment? And now some can crawl back to social media and show their faces in front of people. What do you guys think?